Hey guys, what's up? Jason's here. Today, let's start the tour of SMS feature. As you know, a SIM card can be installed in S-Series PBX as a trunk to make and receive calls. Apart from that, SMS is also available on the PBX. We can send notification messages either to internal employees or text to external numbers. You may be wondering how this could happen since PBX doesn't work like our phones. We'll make it clear to you. Actually, emails will help to make the feature work. When users would like to send an SMS, they will just need to send an email to the Yaystar S Series VoIP PBX email address with the destination mobile number as the email subject. The system will then receive the email and forward the email to the GSM, 3G, and 4G LTE port so that the email can be sent out through SMS to expected destinations. Anyway, let's jump in, check it out. At the very beginning, find a mailbox with the PBX, ensuring PBX will send and receive emails normally. Say PBX email address is spbx at yaystar.com. Next, let's see how to send email to SMS. Lock in the PBX and we can find the SMS feature in call features. The configurations are quite easy. We don't need to do many settings. Select the country code to assure the messages will be sent successfully. Here we will use a China SIM card as an example. So we choose China's country code. Email checking interval. It defines the frequency PBX. We check for emails. By default, it's 60 seconds. It means PBX will check if there are new emails every minute. Last step, access code. It's similar to a password. If you have set one here, it will be used to match the subject of emails received by the PBX. Only those emails verified will be finally sent out through the SIM card. Therefore, only those who know the access code will be able to send short messages using the SIM card. It's okay to leave it empty if you don't want to limit the permission to use this feature. Let's set it to 1234. So much for the PBX part. Next, let's move on to edit the mail. First, edit the mail body and set PBX email address as the destination of this mail. Then, edit the subject following this format, which is the most important part. There are three variables. The port refers to the installation location of the GSM, 3G, and 4G LT module. The num refers to the destination number, which will receive the short messages. And the code refers to the access code we have set on the PBX. When editing the three variables, the num is required field, while port and code are optional fields. Generally speaking, there are three common scenarios where you need to edit the email subject in different ways. Basically, if you want to use any SIM card available on the PBX to send short messages and no access code has been set, you simply need to enter the target number which will receive the message. Say we want to send messages to this number, 1-5-5-8-0-8-9-0-9 and added the subject in this way. So afterwards, PBX will pick one available SIM card to send out messages. But if you want to send messages through a specific GSM, 3G or 4G LTE trunk, you're also supposed to enter the installation position of the SIM card. Mind that, the format will be different. Depending on the PBX model, if you want to enable this feature on S20, S50, or S412, follow this format. For example, if the port number of a 4G LTE module installed in an S20 is 3, we should enter in the subject port 3, but if it's S100 or S300, we need to indicate the span number as well as the port number. This is the format. Take an example. If a 4G LTE module has been installed in span 1 with port 5 on S100, we should add it in this way, port 1 to 5. 
Here, one refers to span one, and five refers to port five. If you're not sure about the port number of the module, go to PBX module and check the information. The 2G module has been installed in span one with port seven, so edit the email subject accordingly. Still remember the access code setting mentioned above? If you have set the access code on the PBX, remember to add it to the email subject. We have set the access code to 1234, so enter it here. Of course, if you set no access code on the PBX, you don't need to enter any code in this email subject. Alright, that's how to send email to SMS. The key point is to understand how to edit the subject of the email in different situations. Next, let's turn to the SMS to email settings. The configurations are much easier to be done. We simply need to finish our work on the PBX. Lock in the PBX and turn to SMS setting page. Choose and edit a SIM card and add the extensions which you need to receive emails. Please mind that the extension must be bound with the valid email address. Click on Save and apply the changes. As a result, whenever there are new messages received, the selected extension user's mailbox will receive emails illustrating the contents. Alright guys, in this episode, we've learned how to send and receive short messages with SRS PBX. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to have a try on your PBX. And please leave us your comments down below here. Of course, subscribe us. I will see you guys in the next one.